Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you guys my first ever fashion file purchase. I'm so excited. It looks like this. Obviously, as you can tell, I'm so excited that I'm still wearing the same shirt. I actually received it um, right now. So I was like, you know what? F it. I'm just going to make a video because I'm too excited and I have to show you guys. So again, this is my first ever fashion file purchase. And let me just give you a quick backstory of why I purchased what I purchased. So I was actually looking for something in the Demir Azure print for the summer and I haven't found anything that I liked and every time I watched it I did find things that I liked but I didn't like the price and I felt like a lot of the products that they were selling on the market, on the used market, on the pre-loved market were way overpriced. I don't care what you tell me, I'm not going to spend double of what something cost just because it's out of stock and then I kept hunting down the website for the Demir Azor Pusha Accessoire, hoping that maybe I would catch it. Because I know some people have caught it, I've seen videos of them purchasing it and then showing it obviously on YouTube. So I did that for a while and I was like, you know what, if it, I'm gonna see if I can find something hopefully around the same price, if not less. I was hoping to pay less and I didn't. Everything again was like way too expensive and way too overpriced in my opinion. So then I was like, you know what, let me see what they have in different designer um, brand names, if they have anything similar to it. And luckily I found something. It's not exactly the same, but it's very similar. And this is also a pochette. So let me just show you guys. I had already taken it out, but I put it back in here. So it comes with, I'm going to show you, this bag. And it's obviously a Fendi bag, so you're going to know it's a Fendi bag. So this is what she looks like guys, so excited and as you can tell it has the Zuka print and like I said this is very similar to the Demi Resort and the fact that it has the white and then obviously this is not blue like the Louis Vuitton but I actually like this pr print color better because it's more of a like gray color and I feel like gray tones are very neutral so I'm actually even happier with the shading and coloring in this than the Demi Resort. So uh, yes, this is what I purchased. I purchased a Fendi Zuka print cherry pochette. I believe that's what it's called. And it ah, slipped. And it looks like so. This is what it looks like on the front. The I believe it was so cheap because nobody wanted to pay for the fact that it has this in the front. But honestly, I was thinking about it and I'm like, it doesn't bother me because all I have to do is just flip it around. And then what made me so happy was the fact that it literally looks brand new. As you can tell, I'm trying to zoom it in for you guys. So as you can tell, there's like nothing on it. So let me just show you the back. There was like uh, one little mark right here in the corner. You can't even really see it. Who's going to notice that? Tell me who's going to be like, oh my god, your bag looks so used. Look at that tiny little corner. <laughs> And the chain, you guys, oh my god, it's so heavy and sturdy. I love it. So it looks like so. It's just like the Louis Vuitton where you can detach it. And this clip, I feel like, is way sturdier than the Louis Vuitton one. It's way bigger. So, obviously, like so. And then the zipper pull has the double Fs as so. And very, very thick, as you can tell. And then all you have to do is just obviously pull it down. And the zipper is so, like the actual zipper is really sturdy and nice. And then the inside looks like so. It's like a silk burgundy material, as you can tell. And it has a small pocket in here. And again, look how clean and beautiful. This thing looks like it was never used. So I love it. And it has, the only thing it has besides this is just the little tag. And if you know Fendi, they always do like a hologram authentication tag i don't know if you guys can really see it but it's there and in case you guys are wondering what the print looks like let me see if it can focus so it looks like that it just has some flowers and then a little ladybug and i think this was called a ladybug Zuka. so again this is what she looks like and i'm also going to be showing you guys comparison to the regular pochette i do have a louis vuitton vintage um monogram pochette so i'm gonna show you the height and the difference between them this one is a smidge smaller but it's okay because i mean if you guys have noticed i like to carry a lot of mini bags i don't like to carry like a lot of things with me i like to be free and be able to just move around <laughs> so 
So yeah, let me just show you guys the comparison of this one and the Louis Vuitton. Let me take everything out of this one. So as you can tell, this is just a regular Louis Vuitton pochette. And really, the only difference is like a half an inch. So as you can tell from the top, let me fix it. So as you can tell from the top, it's like a tiny little like not even a half an inch height difference and then also in the corner it's about another like half an inch so i don't know if you guys can see that okay there you go and then this one looks actually wider than the louis vuitton but i mean you guys know this one actually fits a lot so i'm hoping that this one will as well so i just wanted to show you the comparison in case you guys were wondering yes it's a little bit smaller but it's like tiny tiny bit so it doesn't bother me now let me just show you guys what it fits and i'm actually going to start off with the louis mini pochette because i know a lot of people actually you know like to carry this inside their regular pochettes i don't i think it's kind of useless to put a mini bag inside of kind of like another mini bag but i'm going to show you guys anyways so this one's super super packed with things if you guys saw what's in my in my mini pochette you guys know that i stuffed this thing so let me close it now that i opened it so i'm gonna put it in here and as you guys can tell it does fit and let me zip it up for you guys and it zips up fine it still have enough space nothing is you know making the bag wider or distorting the material now i'm also gonna obviously put something else that i would use which is my keys and i grabbed my key clay with my keys so i'm gonna show that in there oh you know what i forgot i forgot a lipstick let me go grab one you guys know i always have to pop out my fendi gloss when i do bags uh what's in my bag what fits in my bags products so i'm actually gonna shove the fendi gloss in there and the keys are kind of in the way so let me see if i can put the gloss in there and then okay yeah so then as you can tell it has the key clay the mini pochette and then the gloss and let's see if it zips up so still zips up perfectly fine and as you can tell nothing is distorting the fabric everything still seems like it fits perfectly fine and if you that's how you were going to carry then obviously it'll fit but if you want to let's say put a card holder i don't think that's gonna fit in here you just saw me put it in as you can tell it's already like expanding too much so yeah i'm not gonna i don't like to like forcefully zip things because i'm not trying to ruin my zipper so as you can tell this is all that goes so obviously even just with the little wallet, it did make a huge difference and it wasn't able to close. So now I'm going to show you if you were to put a smaller a wallet that's a little bit smaller. It's bigger than this, but smaller than this, a tiny bit smaller. So I have this Rebecca Minkoff wallet. It doesn't have, I think it only has like a couple of dollars in there, as you can tell. And this is a little bit thinner, obviously. So obviously a little bit thinner and shorter So let me try that for you guys So I'm gonna leave the mini key clay The mini key clay, the key clay and my lip gloss in there Well let me take it out, okay there we go So as you can tell everything fits perfectly fine And then this time I'm actually going to add my phone so you guys can see if that fits in there. And this is the iPhone Pro, not the Max, just the smaller one. So I'm going to put this in there. Like so. So it's right here. Now let me try zipping it up for you guys. So it zips, but barely. I mean, as you can tell, it's kind of like distorting here. 
so it's misshaping it so you already know it's already too tight and then you can tell already that this is kind of sticking out so i don't like that and you have it focused back and the same thing with this side it's kind of like distorting the material so no <laughs> so i'm going to take this out and then in case you don't want to use like a huge one and you want just like a regular smaller lipstick i also grabbed one of those so i'm just going to switch out the lipsticks and then put the wallet back in but it shouldn't make a difference just because that side of where the lip gloss was was still um spacious so i'm going to put the wallet in play and then just a regular small lipstick and oh actually it does so I, I guess it does make a difference so now if it's a little bit better now that i don't have the lip gloss kind of i guess pushing the products more to the side i think that's what the issue was and if it's perfectly fine so as you can tell you fit all those items in there so a huge well like a huge mini wallet and then your key clay your phone and then a lipstick now let me show you how i plan to use it because i'm not gonna i have a mini bag so i'm gonna use only a small amount of products and that's how i plan to use it so this is how i plan to use it i plan to put my card holder in my lipstick or lip gloss whichever obviously my phone my keys with my key clay and I think that was it. And that's and that's literally it. So and as you can tell it's in enough space. I can even put my small camera in here. I'm using it to record so I can't show you guys. But yes, and as you can tell it fits everything nice and perfectly sturdy. Nothing still have a lot of space if I wanted to add more items. But yeah guys and this is my beautiful bag. Oh and then let me just show you guys how I plan to wear it. So obviously you can either wear it as a clutch. A lot of people like to wear their bags like this. Um, I mean, you can wear this for the summer facing this way when you want to wear like a light colored bag. You wear it like that. Obviously you can just wear it holding it as so. And then you can put the chain back across and wear it how it is currently being worn with a lot of bags, which is like a small little shoulder bag as so. And again, obviously I'm hiding the print because I don't really care for it and then the way I plan to use it is I'm gonna buy a gold chain but for now I'll show you guys what it looks like with this strap that I bought from Etsy that I like to use for my pochette and my mini pochette and I love the fact that these actually don't interfere with the bigger um, clip as you can tell they're they're not in each other's way or anything so in case you guys are wondering so now let me show you how i plan to wear it so yes i know i'm wearing my pajama shorts okay um let me live <laughs> so i plan to wear it as so and like a crossbody bag i think this is so cute for the summer and i mean you can always hide or move the chain but you can just flip it over it's not that big of a deal doesn't bother it doesn't bother me so and then in case you guys are wondering what it looks like from the printed side looks like so i feel like this side makes it look a little bit more um casual which i mean i don't mind i mean it kind of goes with the outfit that i'm wearing somewhat so again that's what it looks like and that's how i plan to wear this really beautiful pochette bag that I'm so excited that I bought and I'm so happy. Which also, side note guys, in case you guys were wondering, I bought this bag under $200. Which is the biggest like plus to this. All just the fact that it looks so brand new and so good. And like I said, there was like one little corner that looked a little, little tiny worn. But you can not notice unless you're like this. Which I don't know who the hell does that. <laughs> but anyways, thanks for tuning in guys. I hope you guys like this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.